Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello, this is Patriotic Biker. And today, I got a new application on the computer that will help all of you motive vloggers or shut up, YouTubers in general. So, I'm excited to get started and show you guys. But it's got a bit of a learning curve, so I'm still learning it myself. So let's get into it. It's called Sound It's called Sound Cleaner 2. Basically it's audio editing. Um the Patreonic Biker is notorious for I'm using it for charm. The Patreonic Biker is notorious for having shitty audio. So I've been dabbling in this app right here. And I will change the camera here and let you guys see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you the wonders it does. Okay guys, so oh ignore this. Um we are going to be pulling up this app. Sound Cleaner Comprehensive Audio Restoration. I mean obviously the best first step is get good audio to begin with, but I never figure out how to do that. <laughs> Wind always gets in my videos. So keep testing because I'm too cheap to buy it. Now, hmm. Oh yeah, let's just uh, use this old video. I had have one ready on tap. Oh, not responding. Okay, ignore some of these options. But, so we'll be opening this one. For my exploding sausage video. Now, you can hear it for yourself. I'm a big and I know I haven't in a while, but I've I'll even turn it up for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a story now instead of just talking about random crap. See, that's really a. Uh, bad. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> I'm turn that up a little bit. Okay, should be good. Sorry, you guys can't hear that. Um, now, if you look down here, there are a bunch of filters. Basically, what you need to know is you can open up your audio, whatever you want, and then apply all these filters. Press this little eyeball right here to preview it, and then you hit the filter over here to make the final changes and export it. The ones I've noticed are the best are the broadband noise filter which by the way they have a user guide right here that explains all these but basically the broadband noise filter gets rid of a lot of the whistling and kind of constant sizzling noises but the downside is you really have to play with it Otherwise, it'll either get rid of your own voice or it'll create this weird echoing that sounds like you're traveling dimensions or something. So I'll just show you. This is a stereo audio file. So you got your left ear and your right ear. You kind of have to do it with both. Hit the preview. You can hear the what difference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a story. Now, instead of just talking about random crap. It's a pretty big difference. Yeah. Now, to use... That's probably the best tool to use. The broadband noise filter, the suppression depth is how much you want to get rid of. So, let's just say it identifies some of that noise. How many decibels do you want to chunk off the top? If you do too much, you could get rid of your own voice or whatever audio you want to keep. Um... The adaptation time is how, I don't really know what it does to be honest. I think it's kind of like uh, how long it takes to go into effect, like a lag almost. And then of course you can use subtracted signal. You just click that in the preview and you can hear what it's taking off. See, it's taking off some of my voice, but all in all, it sounds pretty good. Cool. Going. The other one. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Huh, you learn something new every day. All channels. Cool. Nice, I remember that. 
the other one I found was a click suppressor. That one, what it does is, I don't think there's an example in this particular so set, that one. but say, like with my GoPro a lot, you'll hear clicking noises, and it'll get rid of those. It identifies just the stationary noises. Suppression level, same thing as it is in the broadband. Just shows you how much to get rid of. Pulse duration is how long the pulse is, so... The shorter it is, it's kind of like the sensitivity. The shorter it is, the more sensitive it is, and it'll pick up the smaller ones. Uh, other ones to know... Dynamic range control is a good one, especially for me, because I'll completely out of nowhere start talking quieter than I was in the beginning of the video. And what that'll do is it'll make it all... Heck, you can see it up here. It, it'll take the strong signals and weaken them, the weak signal and amplify them. And the output level is kind of like how loud you want it to be almost. Don't know the specifics. That's just kind of what I've figured out. So if you look up here when I play the preview, it's making a solid line. I would probably do that after you clean it up and get rid of the static just so that you're not amplifying the static anymore, if that makes sense. That's just my two cents, though. I mean, my audio usually sucks. Any other ones? Tone suppressor. I don't remember what that does, so we will go to the user guide here, which is my Bible for this app. And I'll show you guys. You got, like, all that stuff. But then once you see here, 10, filtering. This goes through each and every one of those. Dynamic range control I just showed you guys. Right now I'm looking at the tone suppressor, which is kind of like the broadband. I passed it. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's small. Ah! Where'd it go? PDF. So it it's cool because it tells you what it does. Narrow it removes narrow band stationary non stationary interferences. So like the vibrations, the interferences, appliance noises. So I'll probably use this one on this video. So anyway, um narrow band components leaves the rest. I've been told I have long banded voice waves, so I'm not worried about that. And see it shows you the controls you've got Again, the adaptation time, which, yeah, the adjustment time, the filter needs to adjust. So, I was kind of right when I said it was the lag. Recommended value of one second. I don't think this video will have changing noise. And there's the frame. Oh. The frame size, I'm sorry. The number of bands and the size of the data unit. Hi okay, don't know what that means, but... I know that the higher the value, the greater the special peaks can be suppressed. So I guess in this one, like, more of those can be suppressed. It's probably talking about, like, this as opposed to that. Either way, start with what it says, 256 to 512 samples. So let's just test it out. 512. Let's make it all channels. Original. Let's do this one. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope this helps anybody who is trying to make decent audio, decent video videos. Video, video. Anyway, um, so if it helps you, subscribe or let me know. I'd like to see if anybody benefits from it or always uh i'm on instagram too so talk to me on there if you want patriotic biker is out goodbye